Hey team, we're gonna walk through using SVG icons in React. I'm Colby Fayok, and if this is your first time here, make sure you hit subscribe for future updates. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. It allows us to take complex vector graphics like my little Cosmo here, where I can change them from going from 90 EM, which he's still not pixelated, all the way down to 10 EM, where he still looks great. You'll also notice that all this HTML is representing the paths for the actual character. So if I actually open up this code inside of my text editor, I can see that this is all just HTML that I can even change if I want, and I can style it up with CSS. So to show how we can easily get started with this, I'm going to use React icons. React icons includes a bunch of different icon libraries like Font Awesome, which is super popular, that we can easily add as React components and then SVG right to our sites. So to test this out, I'm going to create a new React app. So I'm going to go yarn, create. React app, and let's call this my SVG icons. And once that's done, I want to also add React icons. So first I'm going to CD into my directory, then go yarn add React icons. And once that's done, I can run yarn start, which starts our React project, and it'll open up in our browser. So to test this out, I'm going to replace this React logo with a rocket icon. So if we go over to React icons, I'm going to open up the font awesome, which I already was on. I'm going to search for rocket, which I find my FA rocket. I can click that, which copies it to my clipboard. And inside my code, I can import that destructured icon from React icons. And then specifically the FA module, which that way I can import it directly from Font Awesome. And I can take this and let's actually replace our image file with that icon. And if we look at our browser, we can see that we have our icon, though it's not spinning and it's not that big. To fix that, the first thing we can do is take our class name from our actual image and we can apply that right to our Font Awesome icon. And now if we can see, it's actually spinning, but it's still not big. Inside our app.css, we're only setting a height on that. So while the container might be 40 vmin high, the width isn't going to be that, so the, the icon can't scale. So we're going to also set the width to 40 vmin. And while now it's a little bit too big, we can see that it's got that big size and it's still rotating. We can see that inside of our app, if we inspect this, we see our SVG which is our icon. Now this is great, but what if I wanted to actually take an SVG file, the actual contents of it, and include it in a React app? So while we can include it as an image, similar to what React did itself, we have our logo there. But the only thing is it doesn't actually work as well with some of the features, like you can't target some of the paths with CSS. So what we could do instead is create a component. So inside of my source, I'm gonna create a globe icon because I'm gonna use a globe. And we can call that constant globe equals our new React components, which we're gonna return. We want to import React from the top and also export that globe by default. And to test this out, we're going to use hero icons. So I can go to heroicons.com. I can actually search for my globe. I find my globe. I'm going to copy the SVG and I'm going to paste it right into my component. Now I can copy that globe and I can import it right into my file, just like any other component. And then I can include it right in my code, just similar to the other icon. And now I see my globe. The one thing you want to be careful though is when you're using SVG into React, you'll see that you get some invalid DOM properties. Like here we have stroke line cap, stroke line join, and width. It doesn't actually go one to one with pure HTML, so you want to make sure you fix these properties so that it's properly showing the SVG. So here let's update this to camel case for stroke line cap and line join and stroke width. And if we refresh, we still see our globe, but we don't see those warnings. Now, I also want to make this a little bit smaller and I want it spinning just like our icon before. So how can we add a class name to that? Our component can't pass in a class name by default, but what we can do is we can create a new prop called class name, just like any other React component. And we can pass that in directly to our SVG file. And then similar to our other icon, we can copy and paste that class name right onto our globe. And now if we look at our page, we can see that our globe is the right size and it's also spinning. The cool thing about this is I can do it this way for any SVG file. So if I open up my Jelly Wave, for instance, in VSC, we can see that it's not pretty code, but it's just an SVG file similar to what we saw before. So if you followed along, you learned how to add SVG icons right into your React app. React icons is super cool because it makes it really easy to add SVG icons at scale, they're small, and it also makes it really easy to use any library we want. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching.